Hi everyone. As you know, I'm um, currently taking covers off of Reader Digest book for the kits I'm selling in my shop. And occasionally I'm finding that because of their age, these books tend to have spines that are brittle. And as you can see here, um, this spine was cracked and when I took it off, it just finished cracking. So what I ended up doing is going in right here with um, some mending glue and I glued both sides so that the spine was back in service and um, it's no worse for the wear as far as the function of the spine but um, as you can see it can still open and close just fine but you might be asking yourself you know what can I do to reinforce a spine like this and also cover up that damage um, while it works well we want it to also look good. So let me show you what I, I did. So I am including a piece of textile in all of my kits, and I'm just gonna show you how you can use that textile to um, not only make a pretty spine, but also make it stronger. And if you end up having a cover that is a cover that has cracking in it, um, this sort of serves as not only a way to hide that, but also to reinforce it and to make it very strong. So basically what I did was I took the point of this um, napkin or doily or whatever it is, and I put it right in the center um, of the book and I just attached it with a, a little dab of, um, of glue. And I made sure that the two horse the two seahorses showed because I, I didn't want to cover them up and tried to center it the best I could um, up and down. So now I'm taking the Fabri-Tac um, a little bit where it's going to be glued down and then I'll take my finger and rub all of it flat because I don't want it to get goopy. I don't want it to bleed through a lot and I'm just going to really slowly start smoothing that textile over the, um, the adhesive and I'm keeping it in, in place. And I like the yellow color with the yellow on the cover. Um, and I really like how smooth the textile is here. So now I'm going to take a little bit of the um, adhesive and I'm going to run a bead of it in the, 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 the part of the, the cover that attaches to the spine where you know it, it opens back and forth. It's like the hinge of the book. And I put a bead in there and then I'll take a ruler and you could take a bone folder or um, you know some other edge and I'm going to run it up and down the edge to make sure that hinge really gets um, the, the linen or the cloth in there. It'll make it look very neat and tidy and that hinge will work perfectly fine and that'll give it quite strength. Now, since there was a lot of cracking on the hinge, having that additional um, fiber tack adhesive with the textile makes that um, really strong. So now I took a second to let it dry. That's what you saw there. And I'm now gonna trim out some of the fabric away just so it's easier to work with, essentially. And my goal here will be to now glue into the second hinge. So I want to pull it across the spine. I'm going to put glue on the spine and rub um, that glue nice and thin on the spine as well. And then I will pull the, let's call it a napkin because I'm not really, I, I don't think it's a hanky. Let's, I'm going to pull the napkin nice and flat across the spine. Um, covering the spine as smooth as I can. Now, think about the fact that this book, if it's from the 1950s, is going on 70 years old, and having this um, woven fabric on the spine is going to give it a lot of strength. It's going to cover up any imperfections from the age or from shelf wear. Um, I can still see the, the, the decorative bumps on the spine, which I really like a lot, and it's gonna look really pretty when we do that exposed binding that um, that I have in the um, Make Journal in a Day video. So now we'll take the fiber tack and also run a bead down the, the hinge um, of the book after I make sure all the little pieces and parts are glued down well. You wanna make sure that, you know, 
all of your fabric is, is glued in all the areas you need it to be glued before you do the hinge. And essentially what you're gonna see me do is run a bead of glue down the hinge. I'm going to take the ruler like I did before and really press that hinge you know, together with the adhesive and the fabric. And then I'm gonna let it dry. Um, at first, what you're gonna see here is at first I was thinking I was gonna fold it, but I don't wanna impede the action of the hinge. So I'm gonna instead glue and then come back in after it's dry and really trim the excess um, away. So let me do that and I'll speed it up. Okay, so now I've trimmed away that extra cloth after it dried and I just kind of went back in with my um, bone folder and made sure it was nice and tight in the hinge. It doesn't need to be perfect though because what I've decided to do is take a piece of um, lace and glue that inside the edge of the hinge just to sort of finish off that edge make it look neat and also just give a little bit of interest on the back cover as well so i'm going to go in with my um, adhesive and i'm just going to lightly run a bead down and then i'm going to take the um, lace make sure i have it on the correct side and i'm going to put it right up against the hinge and against the edge of that textile I always leave a little bit on the top and the bottom extra until the glue is dry. I don't trim it until after the glue is dry. That way I don't risk um, fraying the, the lace. So why don't we um, watch me finish that now. So now our cover is ready to go. It's secure, it's pretty, and we're ready to make our book. So I'm just gonna give you a quick little uh, preview of the types of things that I've chosen um, for this book. I've taken the book block apart and found any pages that I thought were of interest, and um, I'm gonna be including those in this kit. And then I have some checks and some receipts some um, music paper with some personal notations on it. Um, if you watched my other kit video, um, you'll know about the Master Gardener cards, which I throw a couple of those in there. Other music sheets um, that I found that I thought the titles went really well with the book. Some um, vintage envelopes, as well as Rolodex cards and miscellaneous paper that I think will enhance the journal. I found these great little pockets that were mermaid related. They're certainly not vintage, but they were cute. I have a ticket, um, some really great old papers, including some um, onion skin or vellum um, ledger paper, which I'd never seen before. And all of that combined, um, again, is over 50 pieces, and I think it will make for a really cool little kit. I, I found three vintage um, beach postcards that aren't as old they're probably from the 70s i'm going to guess but i thought they really went well with the whole vibe and um, i'm really going for summer um, summer fun this is a first cover first day cover from the post office with a tall ship and satin and um, just you know some fussy cut some more tickets basically anything that i think you could use to make this a beautiful junk journal so um, again, as I had said in the other video, everything's included, in, including the twine, the button, the book plate, the, the corners. And, you know, if you're interested in getting 
or starting a junk journal, this is a great place to get a kit and start. But if you're not interested, I hope that this video gave you the opportunity to learn how to salvage a cracked cover, how to make it into something pretty and um, still very functional and strong. I always appreciate um, you stopping by.